also learning more about those highly volatile chemicals found inside that building. Our Rose Schmidt tells us what we have learned today. Rose? Well, Eric, a state health official tells us a chemical that's been used in high-profile bombings called TATP is what was found in Beaver Dam. And while the police and fire chief would not confirm that for us tonight, we're learning more about what that chemical and a controlled burn will mean for Beaver Dam and the rest of the state. Firefighters are trained to stop fires, not start them. Uh, it's just counter to what we know, right? Madison Fire Chief Stephen Davis can put himself in the shoes of his Beaver Dam counterpart. Sure that he struggles daily, and as I would, um, with the end result here of we've got to burn this building down to make the community safer. Officials plan to conduct a controlled burn this week and health officials tell us more about the highly volatile chemicals found inside building 109. We've been told that uh, the explosive TATP was found on site. Uh, there was a person occupying one of these apartments that was doing something with uh, this material. Thibodeau says officials expect the chemical to be consumed in the fire, so that's not an issue to the public's health. The issue really is this is this will be a fire that produces smoke just like any other building fire. So the, the smoke is comprised of, of many different chemicals which are, are harmful if you're exposed. But from a health perspective, he says people should follow advice from local law enforcement. Chief Davis says there's always unknowns in controlled burns and this one is already unusual. Well, I think the situation is definitely precedent setting. Um, I'm sure that the chief in Beaver Dam and, and others will help him put together an after action report so that we can all learn from it. Officials in Beaver Dam have reiterated they do not believe terrorism is involved with this incident, but published reports tell us that TATP was used in the Paris attacks in 2015 and the New York City Central Park bombing in 2016. Rose Schmidt reporting in our news center. Rose, thank you.